everybody. How's it going? Pretty good. <laughs> I'm Ari. As you can see, I am the resident goofball of the band. <laughs> <laughs> and since this is our first year here in Arizona, it's only natural that we introduce ourselves for a moment. Right? Yeah. Hi, Arizona Red Fest. Hi. Ah. The magical human being that was helping me sing definitely not a Disney-ish version of our songs <laughs> is Declan. Hello, everyone. Woo. Holding the double whistle all the way over there with like the complete opposite height of me. <laughs> it's Morgan the Cult. Yeah. And starting his very first official full Ren Fair tour, we have Callan. Yeah. And besides my bandmates, my favorite part of the introduction with these powers combined, we are the Real and <laughs> we are going to be playing for you some Celtic music, which is to say, share with you some stories, some songs, a little bit of history. Because after all, the Celts have encoded their history and songs for the better part of the last two millennia. So we're going to start off with one that's a wee bit newer than that. It's one written by one of the literary greats out of Ireland, Mr. Brendan Behan and his brother Dominic. They were one of the greatest literary contributions to the uh, play world. Except when they weren't doing that. Then what were they being? <laughs> <laughs> they were writing rebel tunes. Well played, sir. Very, very well played. <laughs> they were being rebels. <laughs> This is one from them, maybe my more favorite one, called Come Out, You Black and Tans. deserves a sin. So we're going to teach you one word of Gaelic, one word of Irish, one wee word that means help or cheers. 
Sloncha! Sloncha! And we said, <laughs> No, I didn't forget it. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> The sequel! Oh, that means we get a pop quiz. <laughs> Are we gonna make it a trilogy now? Well, yeah. I mean, it's not like a good trilogy. Return <laughs> of the Jedi is. Pop quiz! What we would be born in Gaelic means help or cheers. Sorry! 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 Is that what you said? Well, yeah. Sorry! 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 Dear friends showed us, it's a lawn chair. <laughs> you just say it really fast. It's a lawn chair. Lawn chair. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> get away with a lot of those. <laughs> yeah, or a nice, a nice herbaceous cilantro. Cilantro. Wasn't that three? I can't count. The second thing I want to do anyway. So basically, <laughs> the word has been teaching Ooh, you. We get to do the Morgan one. We get to do the Yo, yeah. we are on top of it today. Yeah. <laughs> and what he's been teaching you in Irish, if you were to say it in Welsh, would be Yeheda. Yeheda! So if you're great, though, you really got it. That Yeheda. It's easy, it rolls right off the throat. It really does. <laughs> you can remember us when you go to hiss at someone. <laughs> yes, well, well, now that we know each other a lot better, that's good. Because we're going to ask you to sing along with us just a little. We really kind of scream along. It's really just two words. Will you scream with us a bit? Say aye! Aye! Off to a good start. They promise. Right. This, one, this one is a story, but it's really more of like a public service announcement of what to do in the rare but very fortunate circumstance that the pub were to catch on fire. Right, exactly. Why would that be fortunate? Well, since you asked so inconspicuously on the pub, I'll let you know. If the pub were to catch on fire, the booze is stored in the cellar. Oh, that's important information to know. And the best thing you can do with booze is flammable. Ooh, oh, did you guys learn that in school? I learned it in high school, but not in class. Oh. <laughs> College. So for the good of the town, of course, the best thing you can do is go down to the cellar and drink up all the booze before the fire hey, gets yes, there. No, 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 we need you. How about we bring them? Oh, yeah, that'd be yeah, so that's much fun. Idea. We can get to know each other better. Who wants to save the town by drinking for free? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, 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 I don't think management would like it if we burned down a pub. This is our first year here. And y'all have been great. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So we want to stay on good terms. So instead, we're going to ask you to scream just two words. The first word is booze. Booze. Times two, because we never have just the one. Booze. 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 And for the children out there, you can scream, shoots, shoots. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, right? Yeah. I mean, the only real difference between booze and juice is time. Uh, I still love my apple juice. Perfect it, or not? Yeah, let it sit around. That juice will get there. <laughs> that was a science show, didn't you? <laughs> Welcome to the Real and Rose, an educational live meeting experience. <laughs> Hydrate your nice cream. But the second one we're going to ask you to scream is probably the most well cued callback I've ever heard. I'm going to say somebody shouted McIntyre. The top of your lungs, you're going to yell on back. McIntyre! Like you have missed being at fair for a whole year. <laughs> so let's give that a wee try, shall we? Oh! Barrels down, upside down, lapping up the whiskey from the floor. Here's the thing. Macintyre! Macintyre! So 
be so good. This is gonna be so fun. It yeah. sounds so good in this room, right? Like it just sounds raucous. This one's called on the old Dun Cow Pot Fire.
was so much fun. But there's only one place to go after singing about drinking for free, right? Uh, <laughs> sin. In fact. It sure is. A sin. Well, do you remember that wee word of Irish? That one word that means help or cheers? Sancha! Sancha! Every second. But hey, I'd like to do another one because Arizona, just like many of the places that we visit, is a melting pot of different cultures. Even our band is a melting pot of different Celt cultures. And on the count of three, we've already taught you Slancha and Yehada. We'd love for you to cheers in whatever language you wish. All right, are we guys ready? One, two, three, seven. Yes, oh, yeah. And we sit. That's right. <laughs> well, we got one more song for you. And first, very importantly, we are in the desert. It includes bagpipes. We got to get those some tune. Will you join us for a quick bagpipe tuning? The answer is yes. Say aye. 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 Now we've got your consent. That's very important. <laughs> so I got to get this drone in tune and mine in tune. It'll take just a moment. Can you give me a blow on your A, please? <laughs> There's nothing about bagpipes that is not a little funny. E. There we go. And now, bagpipes travel in pairs, obviously. Money system! <laughs> so now these in tune real quick. And then we're going to do for you something. That is actually from this era. See why we do them for you? You gotta remember that, firstly, especially Irish battle songs, tend to be battles against the English. Secondly, they aren't things that we tend to win. No. no. Very typically, they get the victory, we get the song. <laughs> so you can think of most of these as like rousing battle cries from the losing side. <laughs> No, nah, 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 not at all. <laughs> but, but this song is about a battle, an Irish battle, against the English. Do we Irish? Actually won! How long did it take us? Uh, we were at it for about 500 years. Oh, it's all right, we took the scenic route, there was a lot of pubs. But we're still singing about it 500 years later, because it's that rare. This is a tune from the actual 16th century battle of Glenmalore that the Irish pipers were playing on pipes like this one when they were marching under the banners of Fiech McHugh Is it No, that was his name. What? His name was Gesundheit? No, his name was Fiech McHugh That's Bally. not weird, don't say that to Morgan. No, no, I wasn't telling him that Fiech, that's the guy. Uh, that, uh, what? No, so, you should see so, his spells. I mean, uh, Irish names are crazy. We don't want to. So this is the marching song of Fiat McHugh about it. 